What's up guys, we got a 2019 National Sports Collectors Convention recap video. I did not one but two days. First time I've ever uh, done a two day show. I usually just do the Saturday when it's in, uh, in the Windy City. I uh, decided to take the day off of work on Friday and do Friday as well. And it was worth it because I finally, I finally uh, feel like I saw the entire show. It, you can't see the whole show in one day. Uh, two day I thought was pretty solid. Like I said, I think I saw everything. I had a plan this time. Instead of just going up to tables and seeing something I like and you know and buying it, I decided to mark down on my phone the item, the price, the location. Uh, unless it was something that I just thought, you know what, I need it now and it may not be here later. And it worked out really well. Uh, I did most of my purchasing I think on Saturday, the second day I was there, and it worked out really, really well. It was a good plan I had and I'm gonna do it again. So Unlike years past, where I went in with no plan whatsoever, uh, this one worked out really well. So here's the pickups I got. I did run into, I probably should have brought the, the uh, picture on the phone before oh, text message time, before doing the actual video. Ran into Pete Rose. He just happens to be the, um, the all-time hit leader in Major League Baseball. Um, should be in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. I ran into him at the uh, hotel lobby. So... Nothing like just running into one of the greats of all time. And I also ran into, prior to that, uh, Hunter Green, who a um, pretty good prospect. He's on Sports Illustrated. He's in the Reds organization. He was there uh, doing a uh, signing with Tops, And I ended up, I, bring, I brought a baseball with me, and I got a sign. I had no idea I was going to run into anybody, but you never know. And I got it signed by Hunter Green. So Hunter Green signed ball. I tried to get him when he was in low A ball. It didn't work out too well. Got him on like one photo and he was just a mob, so it didn't work out too well. Um, so here's the pickups I got. Uh, I met a lot of people. I met a couple new people. Most people I've already met before and it was an absolute pleasure. I'm not going to name a single name until I, I show what they gave me because uh, I don't want to admit anybody. Uh, so I just, uh, everybody that I met, it was uh, an absolute pleasure. Um, and I honestly, I honestly cannot wait for two years from now when I do it again. So with that said, here are the pickups. Um, I, I'm not a huge music guy. Uh, when I'm in the car, I'm usually listening to sports radio. I mean, I will listen to music. I listen to just about any kind of music except for country. Not a big country guy. Um, I saw this and I'm like, you know what? I don't have anything like this, and it's cool. It's an unused ticket from Woodstock, from 1969, with the PSA uh, Mint Nine grade. Um, I had no idea I'd ever own one of these. I never even thought about owning one. I saw it. I mulled it over. Didn't buy it. Kept thinking about it. Went back and bought it. So I think it's such a cool uh, piece of music history. And the story behind this is a guy up in eight, upstate New York found like a box of the uh, unused tickets in his attic. And I don't know if he ended up sending them to PSA DNA or he sold the whole lot to a dealer who ended up doing it. But, you know... Um, I just, it's just a, such a cool item, you know, um, so I got that, brought two cards to trade, or I'm sorry, three cards to trade or sell, got rid of two of them, uh, this was a part of a cash trade deal, um, and I got a Satchel Page autograph with the PSA DNA, uh, authentication, I probably will get that slabbed, because this is just in like a top loader, it came with a PSA DNA letter, which I probably need to get out, <laughs> I forgot to file that away. Now that I'm doing the video, I realize that. But Satchel Page didn't have an autograph of uh, the Negro League legend, the Hall of Famer, Satchel Page. Um, so I got that. Um, picked up, I never even owned an unsigned copy of this card. 1989 Upper Deck, Ken Griffey Jr. Star Rookie PSA DNA cert. Really good shape, really nice autograph. Got that from Mill Creek Sports. Really excited about having that iconic card in my collection, and it's signed as well. So, as most of you know, I don't really collect cards that are not signed. So, I never really had the incentive to buy an unsigned copy of this because it just didn't fit my collection. I wouldn't have nowhere to store it or anything. It's just that's how organized I am, and everything's signed. But this one, I got a nice place for that. So that's really exciting to have that. Thought I got a good price on this. Uh, this is a 2017 Diamond Icons Dual Relic Autograph Red number to just 5, graded 9.5. I would have paid what I paid for it even if it wasn't graded. Uh, there's nowhere on here that, that, that says what that image is from. That's Chris Bryant throwing out the last out of the 2016 World Series. Um, 
And I'm kind of happy it doesn't say that on there because the, it would have sold for a lot more. That's definitely the image. Um, and yeah, I, I was like 98% sure and I you know Googled it before I bought it and sure enough, like the hands are in the exact, I mean, it, it's the image. There's no doubt about it. So again, it's number four or five. So really excited about that. I actually got that from RBI uh, Crew 7's booth. Um, first pick of the show, I already had a deal for this before I even got there. Uh, it's from Nick, Yankee Fan 95, a Barry Bonds, 87 tops. I'm going to say it rookie card. His 86 tops trade is probably his official rookie card, but a lot of people consider this his rookie card. Uh, PSA DNA cert with a vintage Bonds auto. Uh, I had six people on my want list, six autographs on my want list. I got three of them. Um, and this is the first one I'm going to show. I want an autograph, a certified autograph, excuse me, uh, of Kirby Puckett. Uh, kind of wanted a card. And not a sweet spot, but this is a good price on this, so I got it. Sweet spot auto. And it's not the synthetic leather that's going to fade. I mean, it, this is a card from 2003, so 16 years old, and it looks, you know, the ink on it's really strong, and I'm not worried about it fading, unlike the, uh, was it 05 or something sweet spot where you can't even see the autographs anymore. But this is this was signed on genuine leather, so it's good to go. I bundled that with this. Um, Bernice Guerra. She was the first stuff. Uh, first lady umpire she inscribed she passed away in 92 and um she battled through the courts i don't know how long it took her and they kept denying her denying her denying her and she eventually got her wish to uh minor or to umpire a uh, minor league baseball game she did one game and quit her stuff doesn't pop up too often especially single signed balls um so it's kind of like a it's a piece of baseball history but it's also kind of a piece of like women's rights history um, and I got it cheap, and it was in a it was in a tub of twenty dollar balls, like common people, and this just happened to be in the bottom. And I don't think most people know who she is, and that's fine. Um, but I remember reading the story about it a couple years ago, and uh, I saw that, and I immediately had to have it. And again, I bundled it with the with the pocket, so I got a pretty good price on those two. Um, uh, this is another card where I left like the table three times and I came back and I'm like, I need it. No, I don't. Yes, I do. And I realized if I didn't get it, I'd be disappointed. Uh, SP legendary cuts number to 35 of Harry Carey. Um, I've never even seen these cards before. They're pretty sweet because they have like quotes at the top. This one says, uh, let the fans know that their season's coming. The good times are going to roll. So that's a really cool autograph. I do have a Harry Carey signed check, um, which is what this is from, ironically. But the signature on my check is nowhere near this nice. I mean, that is, that is one of the nicer looking Harry Carey signatures. I mean, the Harry on that thing is uh, is real legible. Mine's sloppy. That's 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 a beaut right there. Uh, number two of the six guys on my want list was Barry Sanders. Uh, this is an on-card auto. This is another uh, trade uh, slash cash deal. It's number nine to ten. Personalized treasures. Barry Sanders uh, asked Chris Sichtfer what the B stood for. And uh, he didn't know, and um, uh, nobody knows, because it's not his nickname. I think just Barry ran out of things to inscribe on these personalized treasures cards, so he put B. So, yeah, so, but it's a really cool card. I really like it. It's not something you see every day. Uh, next, got an on-card autograph of uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who was the third of the six guys I wanted. Nice picture of him with the skyhook. Uh, Jerry West, on-card autograph from Opulence. Number to 49, or I'm sorry, 35. Uh, I got this Joe Adele. It's really the only like prospect guy I got. Uh, Joe Adele, on card autograph from Elite Extra Edition. This is the Purple Aspirations. I'm going to do a hundo. Really good uh, prospect, like the fourth overall prospect in all of baseball for the Angels. Not obviously the number one prospect in the Angels organization, number four overall for all of baseball. Got this from Eights. Um, Wenzel 888, uh, Patch Auto, uh, Brian Erlacher, says game used. Uh, on card auto number to 25. Really like that card. Bought that in the lobby from him. I was just checking out some of his uh, purchases and stuff he, th he brought to trade. So I ended up getting that from him. This is from Bob Barth. Uh, my good boy, I am, I am wanted. Uh, then I have to wait. Uh, Bob, I, I was in a Raz. I bought, took two spots. I lost. Bob took eight. He won, and then he gave the card to me at Nationals. So, 
Uh, this is from, actually I don't know what this is from. What is this from? Tribute. That's the, that's the tribute to you, I think, right? Uh, Acetate Auto, Cal Ripken Jr. Auto. So Bob, thanks so much for that, man. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. It's going right into the Ripken collection. Uh, next, Michael Airfrock 77, just two sevens, uh, hooked 15 people up with one of ones. And I was one of the lucky recipients of said one of one. Didn't have a signed card of this former Cub Hall of Famer, but now I do. And it's the one of one from Five Star 2017, Billy Herman. And that is a one of one. So Michael, thank you so much for that, man. Friendship means more than the uh, the card, but you know what? I appreciate the card as well. And we got some glare going on today. Uh, next, I bought a mystery pack from Griffith Hoarder 24 Bradley. Uh, it came with a redemption for a box of Archives Active Player Edition. I got the only guy in there no longer playing because of his criminal history, Odubel Herrera. Gave that card to Mike O for his Phillies uh, collection. Uh, gave a Paul Goldschmidt autograph, because I have so many and I no longer collect them, to, to Chris. I traded I, uh, a two a I traded a LK line National Treasures on card auto to my buddy who's not uh, maybe he's watching I don't know uh, but he's not in any of the groups because um, he needed that first set and this is what I have left just an unbelievable value on this didn't have a certified autograph of Andres Galarraga so I have that now Craig Biggio I think I may have this exact card if not I don't know I think I do though. So that might be a good trade bait eventually. Got this nice triple of Josh Hamilton, Nelson Cruz, and Mike Napoli, numbered one of 18 from Triple Threads. And the big one, which I almost threw away because it was in the pack and I didn't realize there was another card in there. A 101 from 2018 Museum Collection. It's just the laundry tag of future Hall of Famer Miguel Cabrera. So that was a decent card. So yeah, that's pretty gnarly. So that's it. Um, that's it. That's it. I got two more years to go. And, uh, I can't wait. So, that's all I got for now, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. And as always, please, nobody's here. Just me. Stay safe.